Okay. Hi, everyone. Sorry I'm a minute or two late. <laughs> it's my fault entirely. Oh my gosh. I was just watching. And you know what's funny is like, uh, I, I stopped what I was doing like an hour ago and started getting the stream ready. I went in, reset the time, what we would be streaming today because today we're not streaming um, um, World of Warcraft. Just for today, we're streaming Fallout 4. I just felt like it. Um, and then um, went ahead and got my drink ready. I got my outfit on. I went and got Hoppy. And um, today's specific um bobblehead i guess you could say is fallout 4 centric it is our vault 111 vault dweller i was going to use my little drinky one because sometimes we have like an adult beverage but that's actually a fallout 76 bobblehead you guys know how i have all like my my fallout and actually it's not just fallout i have like two worlds paraphernalia there i've got goonie stuff there i've got world of warcraft stuff there i've got skyrim stuff there I've got all kinds of good stuff. And then I've just got some some random little knickknacks on there as well. Not to mention, you know, my, my gold uh, crate back there that has even more stuff. So I'm, I'm really going to start working on getting a lot more uh, stuff. A lot more uh, uh, themed toys and whatnot just to start making the background. And I still need to get posters for my walls. <laughs> That's a whole other thing. So anyway, let me move this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me move this over here, and we are going to, oh, that's a little small. Uh, and where should I put, actually, I think this is fine, because this is normally where the health bar is, and we'll be playing in God mode, as we do, so it doesn't matter. Are you leaving? Yeah, I want to go clean my little thing. Can I have a kissy? I'll get off camera. Give me one second, guys. Your fan. What's your fan? Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. No. Mm. Joseph is going to bring... Daddy Joseph is here for the moment. He's going to bring me my fan because I forgot to grab that. I did everything else but grab the fan. And then two minutes till stream time, I realized I was sitting here and had forgot to do my hair. So I had to run back to the bathroom to do my hair real quick, which literally it's... My hair, this kind of haircut makes, makes styling it extremely easy. Now we're getting into the danger zone because you can see how much my hair's grown out on the sides. All the gray is starting to show, which I don't like. But despite the gray, it's once it starts to hit a certain length, it's it's at the point where I can never spike it up again unless I cut it short. And it's also um, too short to like really like slick straight back. It's it's in a weird zone. Which I mean, to be fair, I mostly slick it to the side anyway. But I like having it just. I want it about maybe half an inch shorter, believe it or not. Basically all of this half an inch shorter and then all of this gone again. And I had planned on, that. that's fine. I had just making sure it was stuck. Oh, it wasn't gonna hit the, the curtains? Yeah. I think that's fine. Okay. Thank you, boo. You're welcome. But um, I had planned originally on getting my hair cut before I went back to work, but um, that didn't happen. Cause you know, lazy and playing video games. Oh, speaking of which, what is uh, Matt? Oh, uh, Joseph. Matt says, hey. Hello, Matt. <laughs> I don't know if you heard of me. He said, hello, Matt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, my, uh, my, my official day back to work was today, right? No. Let me tell you what happened. So I got up at 2 a.m. like I was supposed to, showered, shaved, got my uniform on, sat down and played Shop Titans for a couple minutes, and I can actually be starting the game up while I tell you guys this story. I'm so sorry. Um, but I was ready to go and then something said, let me double check and make sure that they didn't schedule me for a midnight rather than a 3 a.m. So the first thing I did was, um, check, um, I logged, it took me a minute to log into my works website because, uh, they have a lot of like two factor authentication and and firewalls and whatnot, and even though I've done it a million times, they never remember my computer for some reason. So I was like, I'm going to have to um, check my time. So I, I finally clocked uh, clocked in. I finally uh, logged in and went to scheduling. And lo and behold, even though I did not request today off, they still had me scheduled off. So technically, I lost a day's pay. It's not about the money. <laughs> It's not about the money. So as soon as I looked at that, I was like, I'm, I'm in like full work regalia, like full uniform, getting ready to go brush my teeth and walk out the door. 
like fully ready to go. Let me go ahead and throw myself in God mode real quick. And um, and then I'm, I'm literally, I'm standing, this is, this is how I'm doing it. Like I'm literally standing up and I'm like typing in on the keyboard, looking at the, at the screen and then I literally went, like what? Like I couldn't believe it. But as soon as I saw that, I was like, I have two options. I can call up there um, a couple minutes after three and be like, I wasn't scheduled, but I'm ready to come in because I didn't request to stay off. They just gave me an extra day off. Like, <laughs> I don't understand. Um, or I could just have another day off because <laughs> it's not about the money. It is a thousand percent not about the money. Let me go to my, uh, my, my, uh, pit boy for a second. It's not about the money. Not at all. Not even a tiny, teeny, teensy, weensy little bit. So I went back in the bedroom. Joseph was asleep. Just, and, uh, he's not a light sleeper, but he, you know how, like when you've been around a person, like your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, dog, cat, whatever, the second they move, your body's so attuned to them that you immediately wake up like, what's going on? So I walked in and all I did was look at him for a second. I mean, I, I, cause I was like, uh, like I didn't make any sound, but I was literally thinking, should I say something? And then he woke up and he, and he was like, what, what is it? And I told him and he was, he just rolled up. He's like, okay, fine. <laughs> Now he worked just a three hour work day today. Like um, he just had a couple extra hours to kill. So he went in at five, came back a little after eight. We ate pizza for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, I, absolutely. I took the extra day. I don't can care. That's actually gonna make my work day worse tomorrow, but I don't care. It's all about having an extra day on your vacation. I don't can care. <laughs> But, um, yeah, uh, as soon as he got home, we ate pizza, and then we went and laid down and put on Murder, She Wrote, and I've been up since, like, 1.30 this afternoon. <laughs> I'm not joking, like, oh, well, screw it. I don't care. That's their fault. And, and, and again, I, this, I don't mean this, like, in a, in a disrespectful way. I don't mean it in a braggish way towards people who are in worse financial situations than myself, but I'm, I've. I'm at a point financially where I can take that hit. You know, I've got, you know, I've got my, my checking account, my savings, my credit card, my, my 401k, my retirement, long-term disability, short-term disability. <laughs> I'm set. <laughs> I can, I can afford to miss the day, honestly. And I'm not really missing that pay because I know what they did. They just gave me an extra vacation day. So I'm still going to get paid. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not worried. But even if they hadn't, even if they just messed up and I'm not getting paid for today, again, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Okay, so the last time we played this character, you guys, was many, many, many bloody moons ago. Um, this is our Sim Settlements 2 character. Um, we've already gone through. I'll tell you what we've gone through because I got on today and was checking things out just to see where we were. So... We left the vault, we went to Sanctuary, got our quest for, from um, Codsworth to go to Concord, save Preston and co. We save them, we come back. Uh, we also cleared Red Rocket, of course. Um, we get our first quest to go to Ten Pines Bluff. They send us to Corvega. We've done that. And then our next quest was to go to Oberlin, who sends us to Backstreet Apparel. We've done that. We are now at the point of taking independence, which is Fort Independence, AKA the castle. And on top of that, we've also got, remember, if you guys remember, we've got these little um, Sim Settlements plots from the guy that got us started. He did like a little demo and then he took off for his shop. So that's where we are. Now I haven't unlocked independence. Now I, I, we've done independence on a, on a different playthrough, but our Sim Settlements 2 character, which is the one I'm, I'm really wanting to, to get done. Um, they've got, God, it's a waste. I haven't unlocked anything. Here's, here's the castle. The closest place we have is Backstreet Apparel, which isn't so, so far, but it's far. Um, we haven't unlocked Diamond City or Ellie's shop yet. So we're going to have to fast travel to Backstreet Apparel. Now, I've also went ahead and cleaned out my bags. I have 58 pounds on me, basically. Um, I'm bringing my, uh, my sniper rifle, my missile launcher, and my handgun. That's really all you need for the castle. And because we're so low level, we're like level what? Oh, we're level 10. I thought we were lower level than that. Um, that's really all we need. Because the game does level. Oh, we've got, to, we've got to travel. My bad. 
So let's go to Backstreet Apparel and we will travel from there. Now, once we take the castle, it'll turn into basically, you know, another settlement needs your help. Another settlement needs your help. That's fine. Um, Preston becomes available to become a companion. And we immediately fast travel into bad weather. Um, now, I'm not really cheating, cheating too much. Let me show you the only, the, there's two ways that I've cheated. And, it, and I don't consider it cheating. I feel, I feel like as many playthroughs as I've done and as many playthroughs as you guys have seen me done, this just makes it easier to get through to the good stuff. So I use Cheat Terminal to do two things. The first one is I, get, I, I maxed out all the, the specials, but I'm still waiting to do it. I didn't like start off with like a whole bunch or anything. I just maxed out specials with the cheat terminal. But every time I, I, I level, I'm just getting one point and I'm just putting it like I would in any playthrough. That's it. That's the only like real big, you know, cheat cheat. The other one is not really a cheat. It's more of a uh, quality of life situation. I slowed down time. Right now, um, normally when you start a game in Fallout, one real minute is 20 Fallout minutes. Um, when I'm settlement building, which I'm not gonna do on this playthrough because I'm letting some settlements do it, um, but when I'm settlement building, I set it to one real minute is one fallout minute. So it's actual real time. But I think right now, let me double check. I think I have it set to either five or ten minutes. Let me double check. Yeah, right now it's one real minute is one uh, is five fallout minutes, which is a quarter uh of what it was so time is actually moving a little bit slower in the game but it allows you to actually get through areas without that that disconnect you get because you guys you guys know how hard it is to uh, keep your sense of reality in this game when you know in one one hour playthrough you've gone through about eight or nine days of game time that's a little too much. I mean, I get that sometimes you need to leapfrog in time. Just seeing if there's anything there. But you can do that by sleeping. I don't need time taken away from me. You know what I'm saying? Also, we're going to sneak because I know we're coming up on a bad guy somewhere on that bridge that's that you guys can't see. But, um, oh, uh, one more elephant in the room situation, you guys. Um, well, probably more than one. First one, I want to apologize for what happened this week. Monday's stream was cut short because of internet issues. I tried to power through it, and the internet cut out like five times. Normally, I quit by three, but it finally just would not do anything. Um, and then Wednesday, I had been up for three days straight. I mean, I hadn't gone to bed yet. Uh, by, by Wednesday afternoon, I was ready to take something to knock myself out, which, funny story about that, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, I was just, I was, Joseph was even starting to see the manic side of me. He was like, what is going on with you? And I had to explain to him, I was like, I haven't been, to, I haven't slept since Monday. And he was like, are you kidding me? He knew that I, that I, I, I was telling him that I was having a hard time sleeping, but he was under the assumption that I was sleeping a little bit. And I was like, no, I haven't slept any. He's like, but you laid in bed next to me all night. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I know. I laid in bed next to you all night and watched TikToks and YouTube videos. I watched three or four episodes. I think it was three episodes of Murder, She Wrote, and about 12 episodes of Golden Girls before I finally was like, it's daytime. I can get up now. This is my first time using this this new rifle, actually. I just modded it. Oh shit, he's got a rocket launcher. Okay, I got him before he shot me. If there's one thing, wait. Something's after me. Oh, there's raiders right there. Okay, that's fine. Um, What was I gonna say? Uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? The elephant in the room? Oh, oh, oh. Us streaming Fallout today, you guys. I'm so sorry. I meant to tell you about this. Um, this is not me immediately hopping into, like, a, a full Fallout 4 stream or anything. Um, we're still going to do World of Warcraft. We might do some more Fallout later on. But I just... 
I just felt like it today because we've done World of Warcraft for like two or three weeks now, which is fine. We're going back to it. We're not not doing it. I know you guys are starting to get like into the story, which is getting really good. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just say this? World of Warcraft is getting better with their storytelling, like amazingly better. The only critique critique I really have is there's no reason why some of this can't be told before you hit level cap. You know what I'm saying? Like, ESO does a really good job of telling, excuse me, I'm sorry, hiccups, of telling like these really good complete stories or so we think. As you're leveling through the zones, like when you're level 10 or 15 and and then uh, once you complete a whole area, you come back later and you realize, oh, they did tell a complete story, but it's not the whole story. There's a difference between, in my opinion, when you're leveling in games, a complete story and the whole story. Complete story means you go to a zone, you find out something's happening, and you go and you clear everything out and you help the people there, right? That's the complete story, right? But the whole story is like, you go back later um, after some time has passed and ho holy shit, it's a dynamic world. Things have changed. And you go back and now there's repercussions to the stuff that you did before. ESO does that. They do it really well. Like, I really, really love their storytelling. It's so well done. Um, I cannot tell you how many times I've been out in the world of, of Tamriel streaming it even and i've told you guys oh my god this is so awesome this is something that no other game is doing i love that i love that uh to quote one of my friends who's gay we love that for you all right i'm not gonna go into hallucinogen i just i just discovered its location i'm gonna keep going because we're looking we're, we're trying to get to uh for independence we're really trying to get there you guys that's the first thing we're trying to do. A bookstore? Something is around. Because my sneak meter is just a ping in. Uh, I think we're about to go into battle. Oh, no, no, we can turn this way. We don't have to go that way. That's the thing about this game, you guys, is there's multiple paths to your your uh, objective. Who is that? It's just a mana queen. So, like I said, we're going to independence. We're gonna take independence. Uh, this is Swan's Pond. We're getting close to it. Um. I just noticed my stream is laggy. But my game is playing at 50-something FPS. I said SPF. I said SPF. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. Um. Matt, are you still watching? If so, can you confirm whether or not my stream is laggy? I just noticed these chains right here. Boylston Club. Oh, that's the Boylston Club. Okay. We discovered Boston Common. There's a body there. We're going to leave it alone. We're just going to keep trucking along. Combat zone that way. We're going to keep trucking along. Oh, shit. Super mutants. Mutate this, bitch. To quote Dr. Phil, you're stupid. You're a moron. I hate you. You should die. I'm really like being funny about it, but, like, that's really the way he talks. Oh, shit! How's that feel, baby? Oh, that, that head is no longer attached. Probably. Bye! 
I really wish this this uh, gun that I have is muzzled, but you know what? It is laggy. Great, 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 great. I think it's just about time to for me to call the um the uh, computer doctor, the whiz, as I call him, and have him get that other system that I have up and running. It's an AMD build. Which, honestly, I didn't even know about Starfield specs until recently, but I did an AMD build because I wanted to do my first one. That, or I might just buy a new computer and just work on that one on, on, my, on my, my off time. That might be my project computer. It's got a really good graphics card in it. Like a... Well, I say it's got a really good graphics card in it. It, it does, considering this one here is a 1060 Ti with, I think, 3 gigs attached. Whereas, oh shit, this is not good. I'm in an area that I had no intention of being. I think it's because I'm in Boston, you guys. I didn't think about this. We're in downtown Boston. Oh shit. Who sees me? Oh, he sees me. Damn, that was a crit and it didn't even blow his head off. That did. Also, let me just say this. Let me just say this. As long as many years as both Skyrim and Fallout have been out, I'm just gonna say this. There's no reason at all. There's no reason at all why we still don't have area looting. There should be a mod for that. I'm gonna have to look, but I don't think there is. There should be area looting i'm just saying there's no reason why there's why there isn't area looting in a, in a game this old where am i wait Ooh. my sneak meter is pinging oh i see you you thought you was being slick didn't you you really thought you was doing something all right let's let's get rid of the torso I hate rad scorpions. Of all the creatures in the game, I hate rad scorpions the most. Like, the absolute most. I hate them. Hate them so freaking bad. Oh, Jesus! Oh, that scared me. Did that bitch literally just... Yeah. They go into the ground so damn quick. Jesus. I really hate how they just... I hate that. How they just jump out of the ground. And mole rats do the same thing. But they're... It's not that they're weaker than rad scorpions. I just freaking hate rad scorpions. I always have. I always will. I don't like them. I've never liked them. There's... There's something inherently gross and creepy about them that I just can't seem to get past. I'm in the wrong area. I need to go this way. And I'm gonna have to swim across water that I can't see the bottom of. Oh, I don't like this. Where am I at? How far away am I? I'm not too far, actually. I hate, I hate this. I'm not looking down at all. I make a joke out of it, really, on this channel, guys, but I have severe thalassophobia. Like, like, there are, like, a swimming pool doesn't bother me. There's a finite amount of water in there and no fish. Um, swimming in a pond or a lake or a river scares the crap out of me. I can't even fathom looking down into that water, like... That bothers me so freaking bad. Just making sure nothing's coming out at me. Because I know I'm in an area where there are ghouls, there are super mutants, there are mire lurks. Pretty much a little bit of everything. 
We're gonna go around. Because I have a feeling I'm very close to those super mutants. Closer than I'd like to be, actually. All this just to take the castle, you guys. You know there's a mod that unlocks all the, um, the locations and you can just start traveling? Oh, I see you. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, I didn't see you, though. You guys, killing the blood bugs is a pain sometimes if you're not in bats, but I will say this. It is worth it to kill them as fast and as many and as often as you can because the parts that you get from them are very helpful. When you scrap the, um, the different parts... Shit, let me get away. Let me get away. Let me get away. When you scrap the parts, you get antiseptic, you get acid, you get, um... Fertilizer, like you get several different things. There should be one. Yeah, I knew there was another one somewhere. There you are. Oh shit. I thought that was gonna. I thought that one shot was gonna kill it. Now, this gun in particular, I'm not a big fan. I'm not a huge, huge fan, you guys, of. Who's. Someone's shooting with, um, gamma guns. I hear gamma guns off in the distance. Oh, let's get rid of the child of Adam. We don't need him in this world. Sorry about it. Oh, there's more. There's more. But wait, there's more. Oh, Gunners 2? And Raiders. Jeez, he's having a bad day, isn't he? Oh, bless his heart. Also, can I just say, that's kind of interesting seeing the, the bursts from the Gamma Gun in slow-mo. That's quite interesting. Maybe, maybe not. Do not test me, heretic. I shall find you. I shall find you first. There must be something to be said for Adam because she took three shots to the face before she bowed out. Where did that come from? Oh, bitch. You don't even know, do you? Bye. <laughs> she looked right at me. She's like, look. Look at my pretty, pretty eyes. That's it. Game over. Not me, not game over, game over. But for her, it is. Now I gotta figure out how to get to her. I think it's through this little tiny alley, which is fine because um, it's it's on the way. All right, let's keep going. I know there's a thing that says there's something up there. It's either a legendary or or um, like a magazine or a playing card or something. Oh, I don't need to go that way. I need to go around. I'm trying to get there as fast as possible, believe it or not. And one way of doing that is avoiding most interactions with people. I'm really trying, believe it or not. I am trying. I'm not succeeding as well as I'd hoped, but I am trying. I'm actually not a fan of um, going to the castle this early. I feel honestly like, oh shit, we need to go around. I feel honestly like we should be going to the castle much later in the game. Like, you should have... I don't know how many... I don't know how many um, 
I don't know how many uh, settlement locations there are, believe it or not. I probably unlocked all of them at one point or another. Um, but I don't know how many there are total, but I think you should have at least half of them unlocked before you get the quest to unlock um, the castle. I'm trying to figure out a way around without really getting around. Oh, I smell coffee. Joseph's making coffee, you guys. We're getting there. I'm tr I, w I was trying not to get very, very close to the super mutants, but it's just, it's not in the cards for me now, is it? I've got super mutants here, Myrlurks over here, and I'm already going to have to face Myrlurks once I get to the castle. Trying not to be seen. All right, we're getting closer. I'm just looking around. I've never been in this place at night. It's kind of interesting. All right, we're very, very close now. I just wanted to look around for a second. I don't see anything else worth investigating, really. There's a door here I can open, but that's about it. All right, let's... <sighs> I hate jumping in this water. I really do. I hate it. Ooh, I saw some of the darkness. <sighs> and it's not a hello darkness, my old friend situation. I hate being here at night. I really do. We're going to have to actually uh, wait a little bit once we get here. We'll sit down and wait till it's daytime. There's no way I'm going to be able to do this, this battle at night. There's absolutely no way. There's Preston. It's funny because Preston and everyone else that's a quest giver in this game, I think, they they leave your line of sight and then they just fast travel to wherever the next location is. Whereas um, with Sim Settlements 2, the guy that gives you your quest, I, I forget his name, it's like Frank or something or Stranger even, um, he will literally walk or run from Sanctuary all the way back to Concord. He's done it several times now where I've had to wait on him. There's supposed to be a Mirelurk or something around here somewhere. Oh, that music is so cheesy. I'm so sorry, but it really is. I could just go ahead and go storm the castle. Oh, that's a piece of rock. It scared me. All right, let's see what's in here. I think it's some dead raiders who were like... Trapped in here by accident, basically. Good. That's weird. I've got some kind of um, mod conflict because that should be an open trailer. Well, that sucks. Um. All right, so we're gonna wait for a second. Oh God, how do I do it? I have to sit down to do it. I can sit on one of these stools. There we go. Let's see if we can't have a look. See, this is our guy. Well, it's not the best look, but this is our guy, you guys. This is Daniel. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and wait real quick. It is 10.52, let's wait. Let's just wait six hours and see if it's light enough for us to actually do this quest. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. I'm trying to get you guys a better look at our character. This is him. I've got him in Wasteland Militia gear. I don't have, I should probably have him in either Vault 111 or, um, uh, Minuteman gear. Let me also just say this. We have almost no mods installed. Like, almost no mods. We have, like, um, Cutting Room Floor, their version of it. I forget what that's called. They have, we have, like, Fallout 4's Cutting Room Floor, I think. Um, uh, 
Fallout 4 script extender. Um, matter of fact, I'm trying to remember how to do it. I can go to mods, actually, and I can show you the mods that we're running right now. We're just running a Sim Settlements 2 mod. And and Sim Settlements 2 mod works really well with... A, there's Sim Settlements 2 right there, as a matter of fact. It works really well with a lot of other mods, but there's an even enormous higher amount of mods that it doesn't work with. Um, the unofficial Fallout 4 patch. Um, HUD, um, uh, now, all of the mods, except for like one or two are in here only to make sure that Sim Settlements 2 runs without a hitch. Like Workshop Framework, HUD Framework, Armor Keywords, Unofficial Fallout 4 Patch, Canary Save File Monitor, that's to make, that's to flag in case you have something wrong with one of your saves that could cause it to crash or not work right. Settlement Keywords, uh, Master Plan ESM, Snap and Build is not a settlement, Sim Settlements 2 mod, that's actually a, 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 a building mod. And I built a little bit at Oberlin Station, but not enough. Florida Commonwealth, that's the gay version. <laughs> the only person so far who's hit on me is Preston, and I don't want him to. Lootable materials and um, crates, that's, that's like whenever you find like uh, vault crates or wooden boxes and stuff outside, you can loot that. Workshop rearrange is for SS2. Lootable cars, it's working fine. Now, the Diamond City expansion, I don't know if it's working fine because I haven't made it to Diamond City yet. See, there's the Unlocked Trailers project. So that, that trailer that we unlocked should be working, but all the rest of the, well, Keteros trading cards and the Armor Compendium are for me, myself, as well as Armor Smith Extended. Uh, Vivid Weathers, um, Snappy House Kit, a couple of these are for me, like the Vivid Waters, Unique Uniques, Backpacks of the Commonwealth, um, but the rest of these are all like, since most of the, almost all of these are for, now that one is like traveling NPCs. But like I said, most of these are for um, Sim Settlements 2. Um, the, uh, where, where is it at? Some of these are for like when you do your character. Uh, Old World Radio. Now, I actually have more mods on than I thought. Uh, settlement Menu Manager, that's also for SS2. Uh, tougher car sets for me because I'm really bad about when I'm in vets hitting cars and blowing them up before I get to loot them. Vivid Weathers, yay. Um, better Companions. I need to look in my, uh, my, my, uh, oh, I don't have Luke's menu turned on. That's crazy, because I have all the other stuff turned on, but not Luke's menu. And I don't know what these two are, honestly. I have no idea what these two are. I think that's for Chapter 2. We're just doing Chapter 1 right now. And I did not know this until recently, but, um, the makers of, of Sim Settlements 2, they're... They're actually working on a third chapter, so I'm like, they really got a plan here. Hey, General. All right, we're gonna grab all of this, even though we don't need it. Just looking. Preston Garvey, it says farmer. That's due to the mod we're playing. <clears throat> His real name is Port Independence, but the Miniman always just called it the castle. Now you can see why I wanted to take it back. Definitely. For 600 years old, it's in pretty good shape. That's right. They don't make them like they used to. We take this place back, people will know we mean business. Our primary objective is to clear the courtyard. That's where we should see the most opposition. The wall on this side is the most exposed. But if we circle around south, we could also reach the main gate. What are we waiting for? Let's just get in there and shoot those lobsters. Now, if we split up, we can flank them from both sides. It'll be like shooting fish in a barrel. Why not let them come to us? We set up a firing line on this side, and you can draw them out. Well, General, what do you think? Um... Let's draw them out. Set up a firing line, and I'll draw them out. Sounds good. We'll hold back and wait for them to come to us. Just don't get yourself trapped in there. All right, people. You heard the general. Let's move out. Try not to draw their attention until we're in position. What well, just lit up blue? That was weird. Like he had a blue light just show up on his face all of a sudden. As much as I love this game, also I want to I want to point out there's some bodies over there. Like several. I, I gotta go look and see what that's about. 
Come on, you guys. Is this one gonna do anything? All right, let's loot this truck real quick. Come on, dude. Get... Am I gonna have to move this, this vehicle out of the way? You're getting there. Come on, you can do it. What is that blue light that's following them? That's so weird. There you go, dumbass. I feel like Red Foreman, a Jewish forehead to search close bodies. Like, yeah, I was just talking about that. We need, we need a, um, a loot, a, a, like, a area loot. Oh, this person has a mining helmet on with a blue light. Okay, all right, not mad about it. big fan of Meyer Lurks either. Let's just call a spade a spade while we can. Honestly, you want to know something funny is there have been times where I have come up here without even starting this quest line or anything and just cleared the area. You, um, The game is actually built for that. But that's just actually, I'll give them credit where credit's due. They're really good at, oh Jesus. They're really good at giving you multiple ways to achieve your goals. If you've already killed everything here, yeah, if you've already killed everything here, then when the quest actually pops up from Preston, all you have to do is tell him, oh, I've already done that, right? And then I think all you have to do after that is run back, I think you still have to fight a Meyer Alert Queen. I could be wrong. I, I'm not a thousand percent sure on that one. But I think after that, all you have to do is kill a Meyer Alert Queen and then you're done. Let's do the head. Let's see what happens. See, I prefer this. I've done the thing where I'm like, flank them, pinch or attack. I prefer the one where um, I get them to like show up and and pull them out and everyone else helps me fight them. But I actually prefer showing up and doing it myself. And it's not a, I want the glory of all the kills and stuff. It's a, uh, it's a situation where I'm like, I would prefer to not accidentally shoot any of the Minutemen. Oops. See, that's, I don't like that. I could potentially, oh shit, no, no, no. See, I'm, I guess they shot it. This would be so much easier looting these bad boys if there was area looting, but I, I don't like the Looks idea like of nested. potentially shooting my guys. Like also, Looks like a hole up inside old building, so the walls are probably full of it. Sure looks that way. Here's how we're going to play this. You hold here in the courtyard and take care of any eggs you find. The general and I will clear the wall. Yes, sir. These Let's guys see. aren't essential, and I really wish they were. I switch to my handgun. This is 
easier to do with a with a handgun instead of the uh No I thought there was one more somewhere. There is. Oh, I heard it. It's somewhere around here. See, one of my Minutemen's already dead on the ground. Actually, more than one. That's why I don't like bringing the Minutemen with me. I don't like bringing the Minutemen with me because if you do, this is what happens. They all die. You have, to, you have to really work your ass off for them to not die. You really do, and I hate that. Also, you gotta hustle to loot everything that you wanna loot or you'll lose it. Cause these, these uh, Mirelurks are, are already starting to despawn. There they go. They're, they're despawning as we speak. All right, so Preston's off on his own. Oh, there he is. They're all dead. Wait, no, this isn't Preston. That's Preston. So I've got one guy left. How much health does he have? Oh, he's fully, okay, he's fine. He's waiting on that queen. He knows what's up. He's like, this ain't my first time at the rodeo. What are you shooting at? These, that's what I'm shooting at. So they won't aggro the way he just acted. They, they're they not going to aggro to um, this area. Hold on. Let me switch back to my... Um, they won't aggro to those eggs until they actually bust forth. What am I hearing? I heard something. I don't know what I heard, but I heard something. Bitch. Damn it. I feel like I'm relying way too much on bats. If I had a combat rifle, I wouldn't be relying on bats so much. I thought there was a, uh... I could have sworn there was another Meyer Lurk here, but I guess not. What the hell was that? Where are you? I just... I don't know where you went, but... My alert, queen. Bitch, where? Oh, he, that bitch is moving. Now, this is a bat situation. I'm not even gonna lie. She come flying out of the water. She's like, you should have been here. Oh. All right, let's uh let's shoot her in. She's giving me body, body, face, face. Uh, I'm gonna stick with torso. I feel like, well, that's a crit. That was an awful crit. I'm not a big, big fan of Myler Queens either, honestly. 
And honestly, if there's one weapon that I feel like is actually missing out of Fallout 4 that I've used in other games is the actual grenade launcher. We have a missile launcher. We have a fat man. We have a jump jet. But we don't have a grenade launcher, and I would love a grenade launcher. I just watched her shoot and hang out. That was disgusting. Got her. And we leveled up, you guys. How about that? All right, let's uh, switch weapons. We'll get our... Uh, I forgot all, I got all these other guns now. Where the hell? Quit pushing me off the... Where are you? I was like, I can't see you. You really can't see in all this crap. I can't wait to scrap all of it. Yeah. Okay, so we've still got one guy who survived. I think one of them is essential until the end of the of the. And now I can't even loot them. They disappeared that fast. Oh, where's the all queen? Right. Good work, people. But we aren't done yet. The general and I are going to have a look at the radio. To see the queen disappeared. Wait, no, she's way down there. Clear out any remaining myelurks or eggs you find. Uh, I don't want this guy to have to do this on his own, honestly. Gotta be quick like a tiger. I knew there was one of those somewhere. I just didn't know where. And I'm grabbing all the eggs that I can. I'm waiting for some more to wiggle. If you shoot the ones that wiggle, they rarely ever explode with more. You know what I'm saying? Like, shoot the ones that wiggle. Also, let's go back to my, uh, my big, big gun. All right, so, instead of all three of them attacking me, we just had the one. That's not bad. But yeah, I'm grabbing all the Myrlurk eggs I can. Wondering if you were gonna pop out, dude. Shoot him in the face! Shoot him in the face! Shoot him in the face! I don't mind coming to the castle and cleaning out the courtyard or even fighting the, the queen. It's the cleanup afterwards that takes fucking forever, dude. It just takes forever. Because you gotta run around and, and clear out all these damn. Damn it, I still missed one. He'll pop out in a second. I just hate the, um, having to run around here and, and clean up all these damn egg piles. That's the one part that's aggravated. All right, let me go, let me go loot the queen because, I mean, I worked for that. Thank God for Loot Detector, you guys. Loot Detector is a really awesome scoped heavy hunting rifle. That's pretty good. It needs a longer, uh, I don't know what it's called. It's the part the bullets come out of. <laughs> I don't speak gun. I don't speak gun at all. I probably, Matt, I probably just cracked you up when I said the part the, the bullets come out of. I'm such a loser when it comes to, to, to guns. All right, let's go back to our rifle because we're going to need it. Boom! 
that had to hurt. That's a toothache if I ever saw one. Take it. He took it to the dome and was like, no! And then he decided to just roll around. Come on. Damn it, I knew, I knew that bitch was coming. Shit. This gun in particular, being a bolt action gun, has a much longer time between shots. Jesus, that hatchling was like, I wanna live and I'm taking you with me. I, I, So I just had to make sure. Um, I just try to go ahead and get everything cleared out because I hate the idea of coming back later to this area. And like, there's something we forgot to do or kill and we're just walking around and all of a sudden we start getting attacked. You just lost your arm. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Don't shoot the eggs, you moron! Shoot, shoot the Myrler! Watch, that was probably the, one of the ones that I could have looted. I knew it. Bitch! Bitch! I'm sitting here shooting, and like, once you shoot, you gotta wait like three or four seconds before you can shoot again with this gun. I hate that. And of course, yes, one of the damn eggs I shot by accident was one of the ones that I could actually get rid of. I mean, I mean, uh, pick up. I'm just waiting for all of them to like, bust open. Shoot the damn Meyer Alert. I feel like if I have a 90% chance of hitting it, shoot the damn thing. Um, that's the thing about playing in God mode, you guys. You can just vets, 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 vets. I know it's aggravating. I really don't rely on vets as much, but with this particular gun, I'm relying on it because... I can shoot faster with that, with this gun, all right. Got it. That's why I actually prefer my handgun, because I can just bam, 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 bam. All right, I think that's all of it. I think that's all of it. I really hate that I lost. Yes, it could be worse. Yeah, I mean. What you can do with it. Well, you need to go see what else is left in the place. Okay, so now we just have to turn the power on. All right, so we need to turn power on. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just throw a big Jenny up. We're gonna put it right on the roof of this bad boy. Wait, let me, hold on. All right, so there's a switch right there. I'm just, I'm looking real quick to see where all I need to put switches and whatnot. Now I am using an interesting uh, building mod called um, Longer Power Lines. So we're gonna see how that works. Actually, you know what? I wanna put a switch to this wall And then connect it to bitch can you just here we go and then I want to put another one I want my big connector here all right 
Alright, now we'll connect it. And now it's all lit up. It's all happy and pretty and special and sweet and nice. And now that one's lit up. Done! Done, people! Alright, this one is assigned to this desk. I hate that these guys had to die. Alright, so before we do anything else... We've got water, we've got power, we've got five beds, no defense. We're gonna work on those two things and then we're gonna move on. I'm gonna throw some food down real quick. Uh, we'll throw some corn plants down. Corn? Is that corn I see on your dress? I'm literally just gonna put three of everything for now. Wait, there's a doorway there. All right, we'll just... Now, the thing about uh, the castle here is... The next time we come back, if it's been like three days, all this will look better. All the ground will, anyway. The, all these little um, plots of, of dirt and whatnot. They'll all disappear. Also, because I'm not using like scrap everything or, or everywhere whatever it's called um i can't scrap very much i can only scrap what the vanilla game will let me because of the way that um sim settlements 2 works hey wow we really did it i've been watching the minute man fall to pieces for so long i just got word that the settlement is in trouble anyone within range now we've got to pay off of what we started Bring the whole Commonwealth together and make it last this time. So, you know, back to business. But with Radio Freedom up and running, we can broadcast alerts to you anywhere, anytime. That's fine. Which reminds me, I've got another trouble. Are you Check kidding out. me? Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, We'll have a thriving I just picked up three place. settlement quests. We'll you saw that, right? Nordhagen Beast, Beach, Abernethy Farm, and now uh, Starlight Drive-In. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Preston is going to go back to Sanctuary. I could be wrong. Oh, we got a magazine. What do we have? Guns and bullets. Ballistic weapons permanently do plus five crit damage. Okay. All right. How do I turn off? All across the Speakers. It doesn't look like they have power running to them, actually. Do they? I hope you're finding the broadcast useful. Uh, yeah, I, 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 you could say that. I just picked up three settlement quests. Okay. So let's 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 look at our quests. God. This one's a pretty easy one. Nordhagen Beach, that's a little further off. And wait, what was that? Abernathy Farm. Let's do Starlight Drive-In first. God, can you guys believe this? Okay, so uh, Starlight Drive-In is very, very close to Drumline Diner. So we're just gonna go to Drumline Diner. But we got, we got what we planned on doing today done. We got, um, we got the castle dealt with. I forgot to put up turrets. I just remembered. Ding dang it. Oh, trash can yeah. Carla. I was looking oh. for you earlier. You need to pick something up. Well, it's pretty long from here. I hate how she turns her Let's back to me. Head. Yeah, yeah. Keep your shirt on. All right. Let's sell some stuff. I am using a mod that's called Rich Merchants, and it's exactly what the name implies. Every merchant you come across has, well, not every single merchant, most merchants, all the all the traveling merchants and some of the stationary ones have a much higher pool of caps. And it's not so you can just start making caps, making caps, making caps, but I cannot tell you many times I've just wanted to empty my bags out and I can't because they don't have the caps to do it. It's more about emptying out my bags. I don't like laser weapons, actually. <sighs> Let's get rid of it. I don't need it. Nuke a grenade. Oh, that might be my new favorite. 
I got quite a few um, hunting rifles. What else do I have? I don't really have a lot. All right, we're getting rid of the child of Adam crap. Dual, dirty army fatigues, we'll keep that. Flannel shirt and jeans, we'll keep that. Gunner guard, nope. Uh, combat armor. We'll hold on to that for now. For now. Uh, even the metal helmet, we'll keep that. There's actually a lot of stuff I'm keeping. I'm kind of stunned at this. And that's it. I'm only making 500 caps off of her right now. I do actually like the combat armor. And I'm thinking... Whilst we're doing a... Um, a Sim Settlements 2 playthrough, I'm thinking we might also do one... Oops, let's just shoot at it. Did I get it? I think I got it. Even though it's floating in midair. Well, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to loot it. That's handy. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking this might be a... Brotherhood of Steel playthrough up to when we find out that we have to kill Dance. I think we're going to keep Dance alive. I... You know what, also, here's the thing, though. The Brotherhood are very anti-Institute. I really want to do a playthrough. Well, see, that's the thing. I've never done a Sim Settlements 2 playthrough, so I don't know which faction goes along the best. I really need to do my research, actually, because I'd hate to be doing... Because um, I'm, I'm committed to doing, first and foremost, Sim Settlements 2. But I need to find out if that means that I'm able to do to align myself with any of the factions or specific ones. Because I know at some point um, you become a raider for a while or you have to fight them. I'm not sure how it works. I don't know how I feel. I just know I feel very strongly about it. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, but yeah. I really need to, before I get too far along in... Can you can die. That's all I want you to do is just die. Um, I really don't know. Now, if, if, for instance, um, I find out that by doing a Sim Settlements 2 playthrough, I have to align myself with a faction I don't want to. For instance, th th there's, there's two factions I really care for the most. That would be the Minutemen and the Railroad. Um, I don't hate the Brotherhood of Steel, but there are things about it that I don't like so much. It's like, it's kind of like when you have a friend that is like a really good friend, but you know you can only bring them around certain people. <laughs> that sort of thing. So, um, that being said, I really do want to do a Brotherhood of Steel playthrough, which we might do at a later date. Alright, so we have made it to Starlight Drive-In. Let me grab my, my, whoops, wrong button, my big boy gun. And we'll see about this. Okay, there's a mole rat. Let's go ahead and shoot this one as much as we can. They do a lot of this hiding under the ground. That one's dead. You can usually get one before you get the attack attack. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can usually get one. Sometimes, if you're very, very good, you can get more than one. There goes one right there. There we go.
I like the kill cam in Skyrim, but in Fallout 4, it's not necessary. And you get it so much. <laughs> Bitch, where are you? Yeah, take that, bitch. Is that all of them? Oh, it is. That's all of them. Okay. I really do prefer my, my 10 mil to everything else, honestly. Like, I love this gun. It's not the most powerful thing in the world, but it's just so handy. It's got such a fast shot to it. Let's go grab all of our, our kills real quick before they have a chance to go away. Ooh, that, that music is a little loud, isn't it? Also, I just remembered, you guys. I'm not supposed to be able to trigger those traps. I picked a talent for that. 100% dead ass. That's weird. Um, I'm not supposed to be triggering floor-based traps. Although that's a that's a different kind of that's not like a I don't know I don't know what you would call it honestly. I love this song. Um, it's not from the original Fallout 4 soundtrack. It's from I believe the Faded Glory one. Um, a mod author. I don't know if they made this song themselves. I think they did make it. Um, it's really good. To me, it really conveys the, the sense that Fallout 4 is trying to convey. And it seems like it plays at specific times where you really need it. I love that. I love how more and more, um, forms of media are including auditory uh, accompaniment. Like, um, if you ask anyone who's seen the movie Oblivion or Interstellar or Inception, the music makes the role. It, I want to say it really started with The Matrix, honestly. I feel like The Matrix or even Firefly or Serenity really incorporated a soundtrack that conveyed not just the emotion, but the atmosphere, you know? Okay, I can now build at Starlight Drive-In. Um, in order to do that, we're gonna get rid of some stuff real quick. There are some cars that we can't get rid of, as we knew. The ones we can, we're gonna get rid of. Starlight Drive-In is specifically um, going to be, um, kind of like the central meeting place for all of my settlements in the, in the, in the northern area. Like, I'm going to actually run supply lines out from Starlight Drive-In, because it's a really big build area. It, it's not as high as you would want it to be, but it's a very good, and it's, it's not extremely it's not exactly flat, but it's close. It is very, very close. Some of this stuff we can't scrap. It's making me mad because with a normal playthrough, I would have scrap everything to where I can, in fact, scrap it. Makes me sad. Makes me mad. Doesn't make me glad, though. All right, so this here, we're just going to put, like... Actually, you know what we need to do? We need to put it over here for now. Oh, that can go back some. Some, but not much. Um, all the bollards that I can put back up, I am going to. I'm trying not to scrap too much because when you turn over a settlement to sim settlements too, like you put a, a like a I forget what it's called, it's like a mayor's table or something, where you take someone and you make the mayor of a town, 
you give them the option to rebuild the entire thing. And basically what they have to do is they have to rebuild the entire settlement from scratch back to what Vanilla had it, and then they tear it all down, and then they put down all their foundations and whatnot. We've seen it once or twice, so you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to see if I can, I can, oh yes, I can scrap these. It, uh, pro tip, if you're playing Fallout 4 and you're tired of coming around this water and catching red poisoning, scrap the red barrels. It immediately gets rid of all the radiation. Uh, and I think that's just about all the scrappable stuff that there is. I could be wrong. I mean, obviously you can scrap skeletons and whatnot. Lamp base. Can I scrap that? I cannot. That's pretty much it. Alright, so... I'm thinking I want to put my generator up here. Like... Ideally, I'd like to put it right here. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is move those chair, that chair and table down here. I think that's a viable option. Just, there we go. Just sit there, okay. All right, and then this table can also move down here. There we go. Now it's a it's a a prettier place to be. All right, so let's go to power. I'm just gonna put myself a Jenny like right there. Let me see. I don't think it's straight. Not a word out of you guys. Yeah, it's not straight. So. God, I feel like watching Star Trek. <laughs> I feel like I say that all the time. I really do. I feel like I say that all the time. All right, so I know as soon as I put down a, um, a recruitment beacon, it's immediately going to start recruiting. It seems like that's been happening with this playthrough. There, we have a recruitment beacon. We got 101 caps. All right, let's jump down here real quick. And we're gonna throw some plants down and a couple of turrets and a water purifier and call it a day. We're not gonna do too much. We're really not. I'm just I'm just gonna get rid of some stuff real quick. I'm gonna keep that. Alright, so let's make some let's make some food happen real quick. Actually, I want to put... Mm, no, not the big ones. <laughs> um, then we'll put these up here. And then we'll throw some uh, potatoes out towards the edge. And then for water, whoops, we'll put one of these bad boys like right here. Um, to, uh, yeah, that feels fine. That feels fine. And then on the side, I did want to put a couple of melons. Or should I do gourds? We'll do a gourd and a melon. How about that? Oops, wrong button. There we go. Now, uh, that's good. Now we just need some turrets real quick. Alright, so I'm going to put a turret. My neighbors are making noise outside. I can hear them. We'll put one there. Um, we'll put one over here on this side. Let's get rid of her. Poor thing. 
She was just trying to spend her day at the drive-in, and look what happened. Someone ruined it with nuclear fire. All right, now we're going to put a couple of turrets up here. This is really the only place you want to put turrets, honestly, if you think about it. It's high. There we go. All right, now, there is a skeleton. I don't know what that sound he made was. There is a bed here. There's technically one bed. What the hell is that sound it's making? The fudge? All right, so there's a bomb in here. We need to grab it real quick. Disarm, disarm, open. And then I... Oh, wait, I'm not in build mode. Um, and I think there's also like a, a bottle cap mine or something over here. I could be wrong. Oh, it's the turrets that's... Let me turn the radio off. I just realized it was going... I thought there was like a bottle cap mine or something in here. I guess not. I was going to put a bed back there. Let me see. Let me just see. Oh, I can actually scrap those. I can put another bed back there if I want. Store that. Look at that floor. Look at that beautiful floor. This E and B that I'm using, you guys, it's really lovely. I'll give them credit. I can't get rid of that door there. That pisses me off. Alright, there's a... There's a bunch of stuff that I can't scrap that I would normally... Oh, hello, gumdrops. Not my gumdrop buttons! Let's just put that there. Be done with it for now. Alright. Let's give them another bed. They need at least one more bed. And I always use these little tiny ass cots because they just, oh shit. They just, to quote God Howard, it just works. I wonder, wait, just out of curiosity, I wonder, wait, I wonder if I could, I wonder if I can actually get it, whoopsie, no, 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 I can't, I can't get it under the stairs. All right, so let's just flip it back, wait, I wonder if I can do it. Absolutely not. Okay, just checking. I just wanted to see if I could get it, like, really, like, under the stairs, like, this way instead of this way. But I guess not. All right, so there three people. Three people. I went from no people to three people. We got to make... We gotta make room for more beds. That's all there is to it. Oh my gosh. That's gonna make my happiness go down. Although my food production's pretty high. Are they already over there? I don't see anyone. They must be coming down the road. All right, so first things first. Let's get some more beds going. I don't understand why. So I'm gonna put a bed in here. We don't need that crib. Jesus. I wanted to just get through this as quick as possible. I really did. I, I didn't plan on turning this into a settlement building stream. I promise you guys. All right. Bed there. All right. The only other room that we have to clear out now is this one. It's got one roach in it. I'm going to throw down a couple more beds and we'll be done. Come on. Pick the lock, dude. You went to school for this. That's it. bunch of mods that I would love to be playing right now. There's one 
or two in particular that I really like, and I'll tell you about them real quick. One is called the Beantown Interiors Project, and the other one is called the, it's called ELO, which stands for the Extended Lore Project. I can't unlock that yet. We're going to leave it alone. Um, and it's one of those, it's, well, they're both mods that will, um, do things to enhance the, the game experience. The Beantown Interiors Project, um, got its start, believe it or not, on Fallout 3, you guys. It was, it, I don't think it's by the same mod author. Well, it's not anymore. Originally it was. But what it does is it takes a lot of the static buildings and, like, Concord... Um, and a couple of places else in the world, but uh, it does a lot in Concord, um, but it does it in other areas of the world like Malden and whatnot, where it opens up some of those buildings and makes them explorable, lootable, you find little uh, uh, collectibles and stuff like that. Um, and the Extended Lore Project does this thing where it takes, um, it just places little tidbits of like holotapes and notes and stuff like that and uh, puts them in places in the world to add more lore, more backstory. I hate how I can't even scrap dead bodies. That, that bothers me. All right, so now we've got all this room. We're gonna put some, some uh, yeah, we don't, well, you know what, we're gonna keep that for now. Um, I don't know if, see, the problem that I have sometimes with beds in this particular room is they want to go through the floor. And well, they're not doing it now. Must have been a mod conflict. Alright, so we're going to throw down a couple of beds. And they're literally going to, like, hover on the crap on the ground. But there's not much. Can you please? Can you please, for the love of sweet baby loving Jesus. That feels okay. All right, we've got four beds in here. This is going to be like a little bunkhouse, basically, for now. I wish I could get rid of this dirt pile. All right, and we'll put this right there. It makes more sense, in my opinion. Slide that under there. See, it's it's not perfect, but it's not it's not the worst. All right, so they've got ammo, ammo. They've got water, very little water, actually. They don't have enough water. Um, we'll put another water fountain on this side of, okay, they're good. Their happiness is at 73. Three people, 17 food, six water, 100 power, 40 defense, seven beds. They're good. And, and they're going to come armed with something basic for now. All right, so the next quest is returning the favor. And now we have to go to Abernathy Farm, which that's a breeze. You just go talk to Blake Abernathy and his wife Connie, and I think their daughter that is still alive is, is called Lucy. I believe that's her name. Someone's shooting at somebody. I see a caravan Brahmin. Let's go see what we can who we can rescue. Oh no, now he's walking off like ain't nothing, so. I don't hear any more firing. It must have been something up here at Drumline Diner. Oh, yeah, Raiders. And that was the only one? So, Patrick went after them. He's, you know, a junkie. We'll just say that. He went after the guy while the two women folks sat inside. My thing is, like, if you want to break barriers and if you want to uh, portray inclusivity and equality, let the women get out there and fire a gun, too. <laughs> women do it in real life, and my hat goes off to them. 
All right. So it's. Oh, hello. I was about to say it's been a minute. Can you please go shooting you both in the face? Um, I was about to say it's been a minute since the guys over here showed up. So it's been a couple of days, actually. It's possible that the Raiders and Conquered have respawned. Although, I don't think they are because there's more quest content that's going to be popping up in Conquered. And now, old dude, I forget his name. I think it's like Frank or Steven or Joseph or Jason or Clark or Mark or Willie or Richard or Bob. I don't know. I don't know what his name is. None of those. It's probably none of those. But he's permanently a fixture here now in the hardware store. He lives in the hardware store. And I'll show you real quick. Like, he's turned some... I've, I've looted the hell out of it, so not all the stuff that was here is here. I just noticed that this mannequin has a screwdriver. Just noticed that. But I've looted most everything. I've looked in his terminal. Um, there's, like, one or two major changes. Like, for instance, there's a map here with a note of different things he's looking for. And then there's a, a, a note from this guy's dad. What's his name? Jake. That's his name. Good old Jake. And he's playing here in this cam station that I don't know if it was here before or not. It says stranger, but we've done figured out his name is Jake. He's got a little bit of stuff out here. And he's actually got like a little ASAM home that he's not done anything with. I'm just going to say that. But in the meantime, wait, what is that? Is that a basketball or a piece of meat. It's a basketball. It's just sitting here. Well, it's If it wasn't flat before, it is now. I'm just looking around. And this is today's random encounter right here. This is spot right here has always got some kind of random encounters. Every day it's something different. Every three days, rather. Nice. And it came with one of my cards that I'm looking for. Reading break. And then just some level loot. Reading break. Well, I mean... Do what you gotta do. Take a break. Read a book. You know what? That's gonna start turning... That's gonna become my new motto. Take a break. Read a book. And I did not know this was here. I wonder if this is random or if it's always been here and I'm just now discovering it. That's that's the thing about uh, Bethesda games, you guys. There's so much randomness in its DNA that it's very easy to play the game 30 times and 30 different scenarios can happen. I need to get away from those guys. I need to just run up here. I wanted to grab those gourds, but I'll do it later. All right, let's put the gun away so he doesn't come out quite as hostile. Also, I wish they would build, put that into the game to where, like, if you run across someone's farm like this, if you have a weapon drawn, they come up to you with a weapon drawn. But if you just, if they see you put your weapon away before they get within, like, interacting spe uh, space, uh, they're, they're less hostile. That's close enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. What are we going back to Diamond City? I need something. It's okay. I'm friendly. Not looking to cause any trouble. If you say so, but be warned, we're on to you. So don't try He's giving me the side eye, eye, isn't he? Farm it ain't easy. Out in the field all day, every day, and every minute of it. Spent watching your back. Um, what kind of crops do you grow here? Mostly potatoes so far. You on? ask a question about his life, he, he's going to look at you, you now. Yes. And no. It's a long story. Either way, good to see a new face. How about you? Ever think about working the land? Oh, it's doing this thing where, like, it's timed out and I have to, like... Uh, yes. I'm sure I'll give it a try someday. Well, good luck to you, then. Maybe I'll see you at the Diamond City Market someday. We'll do a swap. Word of advice, though. If you do start up a farm, be ready to deal with the Raiders. 
Why do all the hard work when you can just take what you want at gunpoint? Bastards. All of them. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stay. This is kind of sad. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. That's why we need the Minutemen back. And the sooner, the better. Um. There's nothing worse than losing a child. Believe me, I know. I'm sorry to hear you say so. I don't have much to offer, but those raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. Don't worry. I'll get that locket back for you. Good. We're gonna do this. Connie feels like it's hot as Mary. I don't think she'll rest easy again as long as it's gone. Where did she go? Also, I just noticed they're 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 using that um I forget what it's called. Um long neck Lukowski's pot of me. I'm standing on a chair. Just noticed. Alright, so now Is it this way? I didn't think it was this way. It probably is. I'm probably yeah, it is that way. Alright, let's do this, you guys. First of all, okay. This is me being a little gun shy and a little crazy about it, but before we do anything else, we're gonna save. Because we've gotten a lot done. We cleared out the castle. We've unlocked many locations. We cleaned out um, Starlight Drive-In and got it set up. And now we're picking up another set of quests and unlocking more locations. So I'm just like, there's supposed to be some bugs or something flying around over here, isn't there? You know what? Let's leave the area. So I just like, let's just save. I don't see anything. There's usually like a couple of blowflies in the area. That's weird. Anyway, um. Oh, a citizen just finished setting up a new home. I'm getting I'm getting notifications from uh Sim Settlements too, so I'm cool with that. Because it's, in my opinion, it's moving slower than I'd like. Also, I discovered something when I played Sim Settlements 1, which I love legacy Sim Settlements. I do. I love it. Um, but I discovered that if you hang around in your, um, in your settlement and just wait, nothing happens. Nothing happens. If you even just leave the area, nothing really happens. As you progress through quests and as you unlock more areas and as you level up, that's when it seems like your character actually gets um, more and more notifications to the point where it'll start becoming annoying. All right, we just discovered Thicket Excavations. We are not going to concern ourselves with thicket excavations because we are kind of trying to get at least this um this this we, we've got about a half hour left i'm trying to get at least one more quest done before it's time to kill the stream i'm trying i really am Let's pull out the big gun. God, I really need a sniper rifle. Like a combat sniper rifle is what I need. And it may t turn into a situation where I may have to fudge and spawn one in through um, the cheat terminal, which I don't want to do. Hello. That that looked like it hurt. Oh Jesus, dog. Scared the shit out of me. Ugh. See. And you guys know this. You guys have seen me play this enough. 
And you guys have probably played it enough to where you guys know that... Um... Usually, either bloat flies or mole rats. Bitch, can you not? You're dead. That's usually what attacks this area, and you come up during the attack, and then you have to, like, kill the leftovers, basically. Did she just drop her gun? Did you see that? The bitch just dropped her gun. Let's just pop that melon real quick. Bye! All right, there should be. Aha, I see you. I had to use my crit just to kill the damn thing. I knew I didn't want that thing coming near me. I knew it was going to explode. There's always one that... I don't understand... First of all, that's genius. That is genius. Let's make an exploding mole rat. Because as, as annoying as mole rats are, they're, they're even more annoying when they explode when they get close. Also, think about that. If you don't want to become a suicide bomber yourself, just train a mole rat to attack you. And it's covered in explosives. Oh, or, or think about it. That'd be a really good way to sabotage a situation where people are used to mole rats and they think they're friendly and the mole rat is friendly. He's still rigged with explosives that you remote detonate when they get close enough. Think about it. That's really genius. Uh, Bethesda really, they really, they did something with that, I feel like. Just looking around. I know they're hotboxing, um, jet, apparently. I guess when you heat it, it, it hits different? I don't know. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. All right, so before we go any further, I want to write that down. I was thinking about this earlier. I want to look for, um... A mod on Fallout 4 that, that has area loot. That's really my only critique now. Is it, it's, it's been too long. We should have area loot by now. Ooh. Um, I don't think I'm going to be a... Oh, shit. I don't think I'm going to be able to pick that lock. <sighs> Make sure no one's coming. Ain't nobody here but us chickens. Hello. Okay. All right, uh, let's open the intel room. That's really all I'm worried about. Oh, hello. I hate having to, like, walk around in the dark. I really do hate that. Here we go. All kinds of goodies. I mean, all kinds of goodies. There we go. Ooh, I knew that was in here. That's why I wanted to open this door. And a mini nuke. Hub note. Hey, Teddy, appreciate you doing this. When the hub arrives, get it unpacked and connected ASAP. Don't forget to rep reposition the satellite roughly between Serenitatis and Tranquilitatis. The hub will do the rest regardless. 
Regards, Kyle. Carl. Carl. I promise I can read. It's just reading out loud while I'm trying to read. I read a lot faster than my mouth can keep up with, honestly. Just seeing what all is in there. I'm getting a lot of Molotov cocktails, but not as many frag um, grenades as I'd like. Oh, this is the box. This is the packing materials. Okay. That's part of the storyline with uh, Sim Settlements 2. That dog went running. He said no. Sorry, Fido. I feel bad, but I don't feel bad. Oh, it felt like something was crawling on my hand. It wasn't. It was just a hair moving because of the fan over there. getting really that's two down actually three down and a dog does that count as like three and a half really Just looking, just seeing what all we got. Also, uh, well, wrong button. Um, let me go to settings real quick. I just thought of something. That radio there was off, but it's possible that other radios will not. And I'm assuming that this radio button here, this slider here, applies to all radios. I'm assuming. If not, we'll see, won't we? Hi, friend. No. Bye, friend. There's probably, oh, well, I was right. Aw, oh, bitch ran behind the wall. Oh, she was going for the minigun. There are certain lunch boxes. I don't know if I ever pointed this out to you guys before. This one here has a name on it. There are certain lunch boxes that do that, that will have a name attached to them. And I don't know if it's someone who is a designer in the game or what. I'll take that minigun. I really will. I promise. All right. So, Ak Ak has oh has a a, a sci-fi card. I collected an uncommon card. It's worth up to five hundred dollars around the Commonwealth. It's twenty-four of a hundred. Isn't that crazy? Ooh, and someone's got jet back here. All right. We're not gonna go. Wait. There's something in there. Oh, I didn't want to do this. Might as well. We're here. We might as well. Let's show these roaches the biggest can of raid you've ever seen. Ooh, bitch. Ooh, bitch. I hate bugs, first of all. I really hate the flying ones. Jesus, I hate these things. I really hate them.
I just know I'm about to ignite all this gas I'm standing in. <laughs> Jesus. That's not cool. Mutant Slayer's pull cue. If, when I get strong as a playable companion, he will be getting that pull cue. Bitch. There we go. Got it. I take it personally when I don't pick a lot correctly. I take that shit very personally. Oh, there's a bag in here. There's gonna be a roach too, somewhere. Yep, there you are. Bitch. Intel room key. So there's one all the way down in here. I did not know that. So either way, there's a way into that room. If you can't pick the lock or you can't open it with the, um, if you can't um, unlock the terminal, there's still a way into the intel room. I did not know that. Okay, let's grab the bedroll backpack. By 30, it increases your carry capacity by 30, but minus one agility. I think my, my, uh, Agility right now is currently at 10. All right, we seem to have cleared the area and we're none the worse for wear. Okay. Just checking, there's nothing in here really. Is it raining outside? I think it's raining. We're expecting rain. hearing something. That might be Joseph. He bought a new steam cleaner, which he got it for an amazing price. Um, it's normally listed at, I think, $315, and it was marked down to one, I think, $170 or something, and then he got an employee discount because it was at his, his, his job. So he got a $315 really nice Stanley steamer for like $150. I'm very proud of him. Very proud of him. All right, so what does the terminal do? Satellite dish offline, data stream status offline, database network offline. So I guess until we get the actual quests, there's nothing else to do in here other than Shoot and loot. I thought there was going to be more to it, but I'm 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 just I'm I must be wrong. I do want to grab this. I keep hearing something. Are you up here? I keep hearing something. It sounds like somebody's tapping or something. Something's tapping. watch this fan for a second. I, I don't know what I'm hearing. It's driving me nuts. I know that. I don't need these, uh, I don't yes. need these chems, but I'm going to take them anyway. There might be someone here in the bathrooms we're about to see. I gotta look and see if it's raining, you guys. Give me one second. It's not raining out there. 
I don't know what this tapping sound I'm hearing is, but it's driving me nuts. He's, he's probably doing something in the kitchen. He does the weirdest shit sometimes, you guys. I love him to death, but he'll wait till I'm in the middle of something kind of scary like this and start doing stuff that makes weird sounds. And I'm just like, can you not? I keep hearing it. We're going to call him real quick. And I'm going to be like, what are you doing? It's been a minute. It's been a minute since I've even used my phone. I never ever call him except when I'm here of course I never call him I usually just text him but my thing is like if I never ever call you and I do call you pick up the damn phone that's so aggravating what is he doing See, now it'll be harder for me to hear it because of the raining sounds of the game. Alright, so that's two of them. Two of the quests have been completed. Oh, I see wild dogs coming. What the hell are they doing? Oh, now they're coming my way. Oh, I see you guys. Bye. I don't know if I would have what it takes to actually survive the wasteland. Like, I'd have to join a settlement or something. Joseph is calling. Hey, what are you doing? Hold on one second. Hey, Eric. Yes, I am. Um, I keep hearing this tapping sound. I'm hearing something up here. It's not like constant, but I've been hearing this tapping sound for like the last 20 minutes or so. It's been driving me nuts. And I was like, what is he doing? I'm on the phone with uh, Daddy Joseph if you want to say hi. Um, well, I'm still streaming, so I can't get up right now, but I was just, I just thought you were like messing with the blinds or something, because it sounds like something's happening against a window or something. Eric says, hey. Oh, yeah, er Eric says tapping sound. They're coming for you, Barbara. They're coming. Okay, well, I'll talk to you later. Love you, bye. Okay, it hung up. My phone does this thing where sometimes it just doesn't want to hang up. It's quite annoying. Um, but yeah, I've been hearing this tapping sound. It's driving me nuts. He's like, well, go look out the window. I'm like, I can't. I'm busy. I saved the recipes. Uh, I haven't given them to him yet, but I did save them. Because he's downstairs and I'm upstairs. Do it, do it now. Get to the chopper. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you playing Minecraft or are you just chilling before your stream? Are you not streaming tonight, are you? It's not Tuesday or Saturday or Sunday. I think those are the days you stream. I know Tuesday is one of them. All right, so I have to find... Oh, he's walking. Preston is headed back to Sanctuary, so I could probably meet him 
by the time he gets to Abernathy Farm, filling my hole, not streaming tonight. I was going to since I didn't stream last night. My tooth was killing me. Um, yeah, I didn't stream Wednesday. I just, I was so dead tired. I just couldn't. I couldn't. I was, ugh. When I tell you tired, I was literally starting to think, is this real? Like, am I hallucinating this? All right, let's talk to Blake. I've got that locket back for you. Are you serious? That's great news. Connie's going to be speechless. Whatever the Minutemen need, you can count on us. We've got a decent workshop here. And Connie's sure to go leaner on her prices after what you've done. Oh, well, that's good to know. It's always nice to know. I'm always up for a bargain. All right, let's... uh. They don't have any power or defenses. You know what? We're not going to concern ourselves with it. We don't have time. I might do it off camera tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm going to go um, meet up with... Um... Preston. That's the name. Preston Bougainvillea. It's not Bougainvillea. It's Preston Garvey. I don't know where the hell he's going. But this... He's not actually... Well, he is technically... Okay, let's talk, try talking to him. Hey, I cleared out that spot you sent me to and set up a radio beacon there. That's great news. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. All right, so we got rated two, and we leveled up. Yes, queen. Yes, we're... I wonder if Preston came this way and killed the um the bloat flies that that fly over here. I feel like I'm eight years old eating bologna and cheese sandwiches with crunchy Cheetos and stuff. Hey, you know what? Comfort food is comfort food, dude. You do you, and be be happy. Give zero f's about it. Honestly, that would be me. Um, one of my comfort foods, um, is, I know it's going to sound like the worst thing you could possibly put in your body, but one of my comfort foods is actually pizza rolls. And a lot of people will like eat them plain or dip them in ranch, which I do that too sometimes, but I really love eating pizza rolls. And this is going to sound crazy. I know it sounds crazy, but it's really good. I like dipping them in sour cream. Yeah, you didn't say you gave an F about it, but the way, the way that, that read out was like, I feel like I'm eight years old. No, don't feel like that. Just feel like you're having a grand old time. But yeah, um, and, and when it comes to like comfort foods, like in terms of like like um, carbonated beverages, I like either cream sodas, which you guys have seen me have um, a couple of times, and strawberry crush. Strawberry crush tastes like an actual strawberry. I know that sounds crazy, but just try it. It tastes like an actual strawberry. I'm... Every time I take a sip from one of those things, I'm blown away because I'm like, this tastes like a real strawberry. And it's fizzy. It makes no sense. Like, I love Strawberry Crush. The only thing is, like, you got to be careful. If you have, um, if you've, like, worn the enamel in your teeth, you can stain your teeth pink if you don't immediately go brush after having one. Um, I don't have that problem because I have crowns. Not across my entire mouth, just in the front. But that's usually where you drink the most, unless you use a straw. You guys notice I started drinking with with a straw. Um, that's for two reasons. A, sometimes the seals on these cups will go at the weirdest moments, and you'll just leak soda, and I'm in front of a keyboard and mouse. But also because when you drink with a straw, it goes further back. Instead of staining your teeth, it goes to the back of your mouth. I didn't really like the strawberry soda by Minute Maid, but I love their pink lemonade. I'm a bit, you guys know how many times have I, I mean, how many hundreds of streams have I done drinking my pink lemonade? I'm actually taking a break from it. I'm trying to drink less lemonade. Um, the acidity is not great for your teeth, and I got to where I was drinking it, not nonstop, but a lot. Like a lot. I was drinking it a lot. Okay, so what we did then was we cleared out Starlight Drive-In and the the Air Force Base, the satellite base. So we got two, yeah, we got two settlements for one, basically. And then the only one we have left now is taking Nordhagen, 
which is f f uh, further out than the castle. But the, the quickest way to get there is probably from the castle. I can probably skirt around to about here and then, then hop across. Uh, I actually like Nordhagen Beach. It's, it's close to um, Easy City Downs. I believe this is Easy City Downs. That's the little racetrack with the robots. I believe that's where it is. And then this, I believe, is Fort Strong. I believe that's what that is. I could be wrong. But Nordhagen Beach is actually a... It's, it's a, it's a okay place to build. It's kind of harder to build at, actually. Um, even though it's a decent size and layout, there's a lot of different, uh, geography in that one little area, so it's hard to build at. It's kind of like building at the Coastal Cottage. Coastal Cottage is, is, I always want to build there because it's a challenge, but at the same time, it's like, I can't build here. There's nothing I can do carbonated strawberry soda by Minute Maid. I remember it. Eric, you're being dirty. I just saw the one about the straw. You have an oral... Mm. You're being dirty. Alright, so let's go back to the castle. And I'm not 100% sure, but we may or may not see the uh, a change in it. I, I don't know. I don't think it's been enough time, but it may have already cleaned up. It may have reset the cell. We're going to see in a second. And it has not. Okay, that's fine. That's 100% fine. The cell has not cleaned up yet. That's fine. Ooh, there's an FC on top of this. I didn't even notice that. I'm so glad I turned off those radios. God, I'm so glad I turned off those radios. Anyway, um... To, uh, this place... It's, it's really far out there, actually. All right, the closest, or the easiest way to get out there is, there's another door, isn't there? I thought there was, I guess not. We'll just go out the big giant hole in the wall. I could swim across, but we'd have to swim past Boston Airport, which I don't wanna do. I do not wanna do that. So we're gonna park our character here, guys. And that's where we're gonna leave it for today. I'm always dirty. I'm, I'm a bad... I'm assuming it's supposed to be a bad boy and need to be punished. Um, Coastal Cottage, that sounds gay. It, I, you know, what's funny is I actually tried to turn it into um, a gay friend. Yes, I'm ending the stream. I've been streaming for like two hours and I've got work in the morning. Um, actually, uh, why? Why do I have work in the morning or why am I ending the stream? I'm ending... Yes, I do. <laughs> I wish I didn't. Um... I really wish I was still on vacation. Technically, today I was supposed to work, but they didn't schedule me, so I got an extra day off. And I don't even care about not getting paid. And if I did get paid, that's fine, too. Um, I'm actually going to be walking into a, a vastly different job. In not what I do, but in terms of what this, the place looks like. Um, we've been going through a, a, a big remodel, and they've been doing a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here, and a little bit here, piecemealing it for the last two months, like little things. They just did a, a slightly bigger project right before I left, which it wasn't finished, but it was close. Um, but they did a lot while I was off, um, starting on the 20th. And, you know, I think my, my vacation started on the 20th. Um... So, we had construction crews all in my, um, my place of business, sun up to sun down, basically. Uh, we've been closing early so they can do a lot of stuff. Um, so I am curious as to what I'm going to be walking into tomorrow. I haven't been there once. Usually when I take a vacation, I'll stop in like once or twice just to say hello and make sure things are going fine. If I'm in a staycation, that is. Um, but this time I completely stayed away. Hadn't thought about it. <laughs> Other than, I don't want to go back! So, yeah, I'm going to be walking into something completely different. I just know I'm going to walk in mad. <laughs> I just know I'm going to walk in mad. Um, because I have an inkling of one thing in particular. Um, my workstation, I knew that my workstation was moving to a different location in, in my day job. I knew it was moving to a different area. Um... But that was, that was requiring other 
remodeling projects being done first and I don't think that's been done yet so my workstation may literally be out in the middle of where everyone can see and, and get to and it, that is going to piss me off so let me save before I, I, I get myself too worked up about going to work because believe it or not it is already 6 o'clock and I hate that I have to go to bed I wish I hadn't napped now. <laughs> but it's all right. Um, I had like nine days on vacation. I, I had a blast with you guys. I had a blast. Now, I, I hate the fact that uh, Monday's stream was cut short so bad due to internet issues. And then Wednesday, I was just so tired I couldn't stream. Um, but I'm, I specifically, it was like, I told Joseph, I was like, if I take a nap, I'll have the energy to stream. Um... And God willing, we won't have any inter any internet issues. And knock on wood, we had no internet issues today. Um, when I when I was dealing with severe lag earlier, when I was in downtown Boston, the first thing I did was look right here to my modem to make sure that um, everything was still lit up. <laughs> I've gotten very very like knee jerk reaction to the um, the the either the modem or my computer itself. Um, I'm so glad I got. <laughs> Let me just say this, and I think I talked about this about a month or two ago when I did it. Um, do you guys remember like a month or so ago when I um, took my computer apart and cleaned it all up and put a whole bunch of upgrades in it? Works like a charm now. It wasn't, work it wasn't working badly. I was having an issue with it shutting down in the middle of something. I'd be playing a video game or I'd be watching something on YouTube or I would just be... Uh, like looking for music on Pandora or I'd be shopping on Amazon um, and it would literally just shut down and restart and I'm like why is it doing this why is it doing this I don't have any viruses I have a great antivirus on my computer and a VPN like why is it doing this so I was like something's not right I was like let me take it apart and clean it out and everything it was so caked with dirt and dust now I normally I clean my computer every three to four months I blow all the dust and crap out of it normally but it got away from me somehow. It just slipped my mind. And I haven't done it. I hadn't done it for like close to two years. So the amount of dirt and dust and grime in my computer was shocking because I'm such a neat freak. I'm such a neat freak. Um, but here's the thing. My computer is, is liquid cooled. Like, do you know how hot your computer has to be when it's liquid cooled to shut itself off? I was so afraid that I had damaged my computer, my CPU even. Um, the next time I take my computer down and dust it all out, which is going to be like a month from now, I'm going to actually take, I'm going to dismount my radiator and clean off my CPU and apply new thermal paste as well. And I, I am almost positive that I have thermal strips on my um, M.2 uh, M SSDs, but I'm going to double check because if not, then I definitely need to make sure that they have um, thermal strips on them as well, thermal pads, I believe they're called. Um, oh, 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 before we end the stream, let me show you what I got. I meant to show you guys this. I meant to tell you guys about this um, on Monday stream, but we were having so many problems, I didn't get to it. So I got a new uh, Western Digital Blue internal hard drive. Now this is not gonna go in this computer. This is gonna go in the other one if I get it running or if I order a new one, whichever one comes first. But uh, Walmart, of all places, I don't shill for Walmart because I hate Walmart. I hate Walmart. But I, um, but they've started carrying real, actual, like, computer parts. Like, the uh, the internal SSD that I just installed, I got that from Walmart. Um, the external 8 terabyte SSD that I actually um, still haven't... It's, it's down there. I just haven't plugged it in because I haven't needed to. Walmart, I got this hard drive this internal two terabyte hard drive a western digital blue actually i got it from walmart and this was actually 42 dollars i believe it was 42 it's either 42 or 45 but that is an insanely good deal um and then i got this i got this this is their private brand for electronics on the, the on o n i don't know what that stands for but um I've bought lots of their products, and so far the only thing that I have not liked was the 
the camera and mic. That was crap. The camera was like, it looked like I was underwater. It was so hazy and blurry. And it was supposed to be at 1080p. That didn't happen. And the, the mic was awful. Now, I do have a, a Yeti Blue. I do have this, which I don't use it as, as much as I should. I'm still learning how to use it. Um, and you guys know the audio issues with my stream. That's been a that's been a challenge. There have been times where without touching anything, my mic has just turned itself off, like, or not turned itself off, but my computer has decided to not use the mic anymore, even though there's nothing wrong with it. And I've streamed for 30 minutes before someone hops on and says, uh, we can't hear you. So, um, the keyboard is a, it's a wireless keyboard. It's a compact keyboard. We're going to open it real quick and see what it looks like. I haven't even looked at it yet. Um, if this is what I think it is, I'm going to be so excited because I've been looking for something like this for my Xbox 360. I used to have something like this for my Xbox 360. It was a, it was a wired keyboard, um, made by Logitech, if I'm not mistaken. And it was one of my favorite things in the whole, whole, whole world. I'm using a pair of scissors like this to cut open the tape. Okay, that should, that should do it. These scissors are very sharp. I don't hardly ever use them. The only thing I use them for is opening up packs of drink mix for my, my waters. I don't have to worry about my audio in my stream. More like worry about paying attention to your chat. I, I pay attention to my chat. I sometimes ignore the comments you make because sometimes you go too far. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this, you guys. Look at this. This looks really cute. Oh, oh, I just lost that. This looks really cute. I'm trying to find something that's quieter. Well, okay. I have a, a very quiet, quiet keyboard now. I, I did my research and I bought it. But you guys know I, I, I lose my mind over peripherals. This is very cute, actually. I really, look, it's, it's very small. It's very compact. I love this. This reminds me of like typewriter keys. You guys hear that? There's no sound. Oh, I like this. So for like just regular surfing, it's already turned on. Let me turn it off. Just for regular surfing, this is ideal. You know, gaming, I would prefer my 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 wired keyboard because nothing beats a wired keyboard when it comes to gaming. Um, but for like surfing and whatnot, um, I've been looking for something. Where is the little? Where's the wireless thing? Is it is it underneath? Wait, it might be underneath the. The plate for oh it's not look there's no wireless thing okay hold on hold on hold on let's see let's see if I'm just missing it what's in the box a wireless keyboard a nano receiver and two AAA batteries I did not find the receiver. The receiver wasn't in here. The receiver wasn't in here. I'm going to have to take this back. And I don't have my receipt for it anymore. You know what I could do? I could buy a universal receiver. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh. That scared me. It was on this end. I was looking like right here where the batteries, where the batteries were, like right here. It looked like it would fit like right here in this little spot. Oh, that scared me. It didn't. Sh it doesn't show on here. It doesn't show on here at all where you would find it. Although it looks like it from this diagram, it should have been under the little the little battery thing. Oh scared the shit out of me. I was, did you guys see my face? I know I probably look like I'd lost my best friend. I love tech, you know, and I'm always trying out new things. My, my computer closet in there and, and that gold trunk right there. It's like a keyboard graveyard. I'm not joking. I have probably about 10 different sets of keyboards, wireless mouses, wireless, wired mice, um, multiple headsets. I've got a wireless, I've got a bunch of peripherals sitting to the side unboxed because I'm going to use them with my new computer. But the thing is, I've got to get that thing running. All right, so this is going to be fun. I can't wait to uh, try this out. I'm not going to do it right now. 
because I do have to, I still have to end my stream. But I wanted to show you guys this really cute little keyboard. I've been I've been waiting to unpackage it for like a week. I bought this this past either Saturday or Sunday, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna um, show everybody this on the stream, and then Monday's stream was just garbage, basically. I don't think I'm I don't think I really want to even upload that. All right, so how do these go in? Okay. <sighs> Every device does their batteries so different. There we go. Wait, it's that way. Okay. Is that right? <laughs> I've officially turned into an old person. I can't figure out how to use a wireless keyboard. You put the plus where it says plus, but... I <laughs> It doesn't do that a lot now. It, sh it, g it shows you like a picture of the direction the battery's supposed to be turned. Um, but if you put them in backwards, you could probably short it out or something. But anyway, thank you guys so much. We got so much done today. Uh, please tune in Monday where we'll pick up where we left off. We will be having a blasty blast. We will be getting the loots. We will be killing the bad guys and we'll be continually uh, playing the good, good boy in our, in our playthroughs. And, I love being the hero in these games. Um, the flat edge goes on the spring. Not always. Um, oh, 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 oh. Um, uh, Eric, I can say this to you specifically. Um, you need to look at Trixie's new music video, which actually she has two. Looking Good and Feeling Gorgeous is one. And then she just uploaded, like yesterday, a remix of My Humps. So, I, it's not the best song, but the video is, you can tell she did it in her house. Um, it's very low budget, but it's cute. Um, and she's literally, like, she's in it. She's feeling it. She's lip syncing it to it. Um, yeah, she did a cover, Looking Good, Feeling Gorgeous. It looks, the, the, the video is actually really good. That one there is, like, production value. It's in a club. She's got dancers. She's got other uh, drag race girls in there. Uh, Brandon, her assistant, is in it for a little bit. Uh, there's a couple of costume changes, of course, because that's what Trixie does. She loves a reveal or a reveal. Oh, I can't wait to use this. This is so cute. Where's the print screen? That's what I'm looking for. Print screen. I see insert, delete, F12. Oh, that's probably print screen. That little Windows key is cute. It's, it's got a tilde key. That's all I'm worried about. Oh, it's actually got, if you look, I don't know if you guys can see this up close. It's actually got, like, the media keys. You hold on the function, you hit play, fast forward, rewind, all that. I'm happy about this. I really am. I really do like this. The, um, I prefer a compact keyboard. I actually do like having, okay. I do like having my um my keypad over here on the side i do like having it as well as my directional keys and my like home insert delete all that but nothing to me is cuter than small stuff I, like tiny homes this would be really good in a tiny home and actually if you use your computer and monitors as like a home theater you can sit at the couch and control everything now i have something similar that's even a lot smaller that joseph bought me years ago and i still use it to this day this is the Re2. Now this thing here, um, it has like, okay, so this here is a touchpad. It's literally a touchpad. Uh, there's also a directional button here. There's another one here. This is also like your media keys for like volume up, volume down, play, fast forward, rewind, all that kind of stuff. Um, there's like built in buttons for like home screen, search, email, all that kind of stuff. Um, here's your actual, like it's got a full QWERTY keypad. It's got a full number pad. It's got all the function keys up top. Um, and believe it or not, um, certain games can actually be controlled like this. This can technically function as a video game controller. This thing here, when I first got it from Joseph, um, I, I actually asked for something similar to this. And so when I opened up the box and I saw this, I was like, oh, thanks, it's great, thanks. But I was like, I'll give it a shot. And for about 10 years straight, I used this thing. Um, it's It's got a built-in um, rechargeable lithium-ion battery, and it's wireless. So, I mean, 100%, 100% love that thing. Um, what else was I going to tell you guys? I think that's actually close to being it. Um, 
I will let you guys know how work went on Monday. Um, I'm working tomorrow and then I'm off Sunday, of course, because Sunday is my normal day off. Um, tomorrow will be a long day for me because I'll have to put out immediate fires that need immediate attention. And then I'll have to start setting up, um, I'll have to be cleaning up processes that were left behind while I was gone. And then, um, I'll have to set up <laughs> a timeline to get caught back up. It usually takes me anywhere from three weeks to a month to get caught back up after a week's vacation. Um, just due to the timelines of certain things that fall. Um, I'm actually, I'm just not looking forward to it. I just don't want to do it. I just don't want to go back. I just want to keep getting paid to sit at my, on my ass at the house. I mean, does that sound so selfish? <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you guys so much. I had a blast and I'll catch you guys on, on Monday. So from me and Daddy Joseph and from Hoppy, I beat you guys all adieu. Not a dude, as Eric likes to think, a do. Be safe, be kind, and happy hunting.